All right, Pisces, let's see. What is the message for Pisces for September 11th? Just realized September 11th. Let's have a moment of silence for those who were lost on September 11th. As we pray for those families, for all those lives that were lost on September 11th, and also thank you to all the first responders who were there and risked their lives on that day. <clears throat> thank you. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading. This is going to be for Pisces for September 11th. What is the message? Let's get two cards. What is the message, please, for Pisces? We've got number 43, Spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. Let it out. <laughs> A lot of Pisces are musically inclined. And number 24, Potion. Remember to practice self-love. So some of you guys need to let your hair down. Or men, uh, take your boots off. <laughs> All right, but go dance around, sing. Remember to practice self-love, okay? Don't be afraid to be who you are. And embrace that. Embrace your inner child. <laughs> All right, so number 43 with this spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. All right, you've been made to believe that your voice, that your unique point of view in this world isn't worth very much. Let me tell you, that couldn't be further from the truth. Your words are worth all the stars in the night sky. So don't forget to sing wherever you have the chance. Your voice is powerful enough to sink a dozen spaceships, Pisces. Okay. Um, also, the type of music that you know you listen to is also... Uh, very transformative. So uh, depending on the mood that you're in, uh, there may be a need to... Um, I'm here and make your own playlist, but I'm sitting here thinking about my playlist that I listen to, and I got a mix of everything. So it's not like, you know, I got some empowering stuff. I got some hood shit. <laughs> you know, I got... I got some oldies, I got country, I got all kinds of different mixes on mine. So, uh, I don't know, maybe there is a need for, I do have separate playlists, you know, that are different moods, but I don't typically listen to those unless it's like my road trip playlist. But anyways, uh, enough about that. Some of you guys, um, maybe you're needing to make a playlist. All right. So we got number 24, remember to practice self-love. You're familiar with the concepts of self-love and self-care, but either you have never actively practiced them or there's something you've been falling behind on. Either way, you should get back on track. Keep yourself maintained in all ways, big or small. That can mean calling it quits to take a luxurious bath instead, or that can mean putting on a rose water face mask, getting out your planner so you can sort out your life before it gets too out of control. So there may be a need for you to get organized, um, practice self-love. I know I took my spiritual bath this morning. I was up at like 6.30, like, yeah, getting in the tub, listen to a very nice meditation. And it was a different one. It was like a moment of silence for like a whole 10 minutes. And uh, <laughs> the movie that I've been watching is The Wheel of Time. Comes out every Friday on Prime, but... um. I think the first season is out on Prime. The second one just came out every Friday. But anyways, they were two of the characters, or three of them actually, they were doing this meditation and they sit there and he's like, oh, well, that guy lasted all of but, you know, however many minutes it was. And they were kind of joking that it takes practice. And so this morning with the meditation that I had picked, it was telling you to sit and keep your body very still and I noticed I kept moving and moving and moving and repositioning and like foot I was in the bath too so it wasn't like you know I was sitting in a perfectly comfortable position but 
yeah, I kept myself fidgeting and I was just, and I literally, I thought, I thought through those emotions, like, am I, is this the restlessness in me that I'm needing to get out? Is that why they tell you to sit still in that meditative space, you know? So I, I literally, I don't know, there were so many thoughts that went through my mind during that 10 minutes. And I'm not going to say I sat still at all, but I tried. Um, so maybe that's something maybe you should try to practice or it may be beneficial because I should you not like I thought about so many things while <laughs> in that 10 minutes like um I don't know and I feel like I'm in a very very calm mood today too like <laughs> I don't know if it's from that or what but anyways let's move on <laughs> some of you guys need to find some time to do some if this is something that you've been falling behind on, Spirit is just kindly nudging you. Hey, don't forget to do to do things that can help you um, find that inner calm, that inner peace within yourself. Okay, release any anxieties or stresses or whatever it is that you may be holding on to. Because that was another thing that I also like reflected on in that 10 minutes is why do I keep, why was I so... Why couldn't I just sit the hell still? Like, I was like, I just kept moving. So I was like, why <laughs> is this anxiety? Is this like pent up? Like, no, sit, just calm yourself. I had to like talk myself through it. But um, now, later on in the day, I feel like super calm and like mellow, like almost too calm. But um, all right, so let's get a few more messages for Pisces for the week ahead. Yeah, you got balance. I bring a perf I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Who cares what other people see? <laughs> what other people sinks sinks sinking spaceships. Um Yeah, I'm getting that dance like no one's watching. How do they say that? Um sing like no one's listening, dance like no one's watching, and love like you've never been hurt before sink spaceships <laughs> and do so without judgment all right what else hmm. purpose i know what i'm here to do so find your purpose Pisces. And, you know, I'm not speaking in like a big broad form. I'm, you know, maybe there's a need for you to attach purpose to certain things. Like, why do I do what I do? Why do I do this? What causes me to do this? Or it's like attach, you know, I don't want to say attach. I don't like that word, but uh, find the purpose in what it is that you're doing. So again, if you're meditating, why? Why are you, why are you doing this? What are your intentions? What is, what is your purpose? What are you trying to get out of this? You know, find that, find that balance. You know, a lot of times too, people meditate or they do certain self-love practices when they feel an imbalance. Instead of doing it on a regular basis, which would be self-love, right? I do it because of, you know, it keeps me feeling how, you know, whatever your purpose is. For everybody, it's all, it's going to be different, you know? And at different times in our life, it's going to be different as well. But a lot of times people only use these certain practices or do certain things when they feel something that's off or there's an imbalance or uh fear or an anxiety and even me i do the same thing like sometimes i listen to meditation you know when i go to sleep but i only do it when i feel some type of way i don't do it on a regular basis you know um yeah so what is your purpose for these things have an intention and an intention of what you want to change what you see changing why do you sing? Why do you dance? Why do you laugh? Why do you have fun? You know? Because I'm a fucking unicorn. <laughs> okay. All 
All right. <laughs> Pisces. What else for Pisces for the week ahead? Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So Pisces, there may be something going on in your life where you are needing to be courageous. You're needing to... That's wicked. Anyways, um, I wonder, the meditation I did this morning talked about that randomly enough. And that will, okay, I don't know, it's not in there. Um, I'm part of the collective as well, so these messages are never intended for me, I always ask for them not to be, but I am part of the Piscean Collective. Um, either way, there's something in your life that I feel like there's a need for you to not be afraid to use your voice, not to be afraid to use your your magic, your, your divine power, okay, or practices that help you. Because I do feel like there's a situation here where you're needing courage, you're needing strength, you're needing to face fear with confidence, and I don't know what that fear may be. Um, but sometimes these practices of self-love can, can help you tap into those, you know, help you align your chakras, um, calling upon your, you know, your spirit team, your angels, your guides, God, okay, it can help you fight battles that maybe, you know, and even if it's not even a battle, it's like they can help give you the courage and the strength, you know, sometimes we even procrastinate doing certain things. Just because, like for me, for an example, I hate sitting on hold with like 1-800 numbers. Like that shit, I will put that shit off until the day, till the deadline. Like I hate it. <laughs> and so, you know, there. <laughs> that's one of my fears. No, I, you know, so there could, it could be something as simple as that. Not necessarily a battle, but there could be something that you're, you know, you're needing that little extra I'm getting like your life force energy, Archangel Shamuel, your third chakra, that courage, that inner confidence, that inner feeling, that gut feeling, trusting your gut feeling and acting on it, you know, with true intention, true power, um, courage, strength. So if there is something that you're feeling within, search out something that can help you. Some of you guys, it may be singing. Some of you guys may be finding a purpose and why it is that you're doing whatever you're doing. Whatever this is, it's it's surrounding finding, you know, finding that balance. And this wouldn't be coming up in your reading if there wasn't something that you were feeling an imbalance in. Okay, you got success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So bring love into the situation. Um, guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth and blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So yeah, Pisces, accepting responsibility for your well-being. If you're feeling some type of way, Take responsibility. Why do I feel this way? What do I need to do? How can I shift this? How can I change this? What do I need to let go of? What do I need to bring in? Love, okay? That will help you grow. That will help bring in success. It's finding that purpose within. I hope that for some of you guys, this message may be helpful. Um, interesting enough that it's coming out. So let's get one Oracle card for you guys. This is going to be from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. I'm going to get a message for Pisces. What do they need to take with them? What do they need to hear today coming into this week? Let me just get one card for Pisces. Oh, that came out quick. So, the Spirit Guardian of Autumn. Letting go. Number 35. 35 may be significant. All right. So, Spirit Guardian of the Autumn. Beautiful. Pumpkin spice season. <laughs> Letting go. Surrender. All is well. You don't have to do it alone. The creator is at your side. Letting go can heal the need to be in control. The stress of unfulfilled expectations. The anguish of needing to decide how things should be. And the tension of wanting others to act in a particular way. These things lead to unhappiness. 
Letting go opens the space for relaxation, healing, and success. Of course, there are times to hold on as if your life depended on it, but now is the time to surrender. You aren't succumbing to forces outside of yourself. Instead, you are opening up to the inner guidance and to your soul. When you let go, the creative forces of the universe can flow through you. Earth-based cultures recognize the four power points of the year, the spring, fall equinoxes, and the summer and winter solstices had profound spiritual meaning. To those indig indigenous people, autumn was the time of things slowing down. It was the time of change, reflection, harvest, and preparation for the next season. The spirit of the guardian of autumn says, relinquish control and let spirit take over. You don't need to do everything yourself. Release whatever in your life doesn't serve you. Clutter, clear your life. Simply open your heart, let go, and allow spirit to help and support you. Oh my gosh, that was like the best freaking card for what we were just talking about. Autumn, the time is now, Pisces. It's time to let go. Um, some of you guys may be also clutter clearing, cleaning up your home, um, cleaning out your drawers, doing spring cleaning, outside chores. Uh, whatever it is that, you know, for all of you guys, it's going to be different. But this is a time for relaxation and allowing, letting go and allowing spirit to, to take over, to guide you. Um, anyways, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it helps someone out there. I hope you guys find your peace and your happiness in a peaceful place. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.